Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Cooler Master Real Power Pro 1000 Watt Power Supply. What's included is the user's manual, power cable, a case badge, four screws for mounting the power supply in the case, and the power supply. The Real Power Pro line of power supplies are available in wattages ranging from 550 to 1250. I'll be reviewing the 1000 watt model today, which is more than enough power for the most hardcore computer systems. Now how is this wattage determined? To understand that, you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use. And there are essentially two different rails, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case, the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 250 watts and the 12 volt is 960 watts, which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. Also, some might be interested to know the peak amps on each rail. The plus 3.3 volt and 5 volt rails are both 40 amps each. Now, unlike some power supplies that have one or even four plus 12 volt rails, this product has six. The plus 12 volt one, two, five, and six are 18 amps each, and the plus 12 volt three and four are 28 amps each. Please note that a single plus 12 volt rail tends to be preferred, especially in a multiple video card setup. There are a couple of important things to remember when selecting a power supply. The first is wattage. Determine how much wattage you are going to require by the amount of hardware you will be installing. Generally speaking, a medium to high-end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply. If, however, you are going hardcore and have a multiple video card set up with lots of other hardware, select a power supply that's above 800 watts. Second. It should be at or above 80% efficient at typical load. The efficiency of this power supply is 83% at 200 watts, 85% at 500 watts, and 81% at 1000 watts. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, overvoltage, undervoltage, and other protections. This power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has APFC. APFC, or Active Power Factor Correction, is something that also assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully, this power supply has APFC. Finally, select a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Let's have a closer look at this power supply. The housing is steel and they include a very quiet 135 millimeter fan which is recessed so it should fit in almost any ATX case. Also note that this fan is load controlled meaning the more load in the power supply the faster the fan spins. This fan and the many ventilation holes ensures maximum cooling so the power supply will remain cool in almost any environment. Here's the power cable connection and a status LED. Note that there's no power switch. This power supply has plenty of long leads and they are all sleeved which reduces the cable mess inside the case and will improve airflow. Modular leads would have been preferred, but considering this power supply is most comfortable in a full tower case, it's not crucial. Finally, have a listen.
This power supply performs really well. It's fairly compact for a 1000 watt power supply, so it will fit in just about any ATX case that's currently on the market. And it has a very quiet 135 millimeter fan. What I don't like about this power supply is it's not modular and it doesn't have a power switch. But overall, it's a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. which is essentially how to wattage, how to wattage, how to wattage. Yeah, it's proper English. I really, really like modular power supplies because you only need to use the leads for your particular... Oh, oh I hear you, I tried it again. We tried it again.